Oh hey, how's it going? Welcome to part two of my Colorado vlog. That took a few days, didn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's waste no time. Let's get into it. Alright, so we have stopped just to look at the view. Looks really nice. There's a road over there that we just came through. It all looks really nice. So I gotta be careful over here so I don't fall and slide down there. We have entered a museum. This is actually really cool. It's the map. That little red dust where we are. And then here there's like a bunch of buttons that you can press on to find out like where where all this is on the map and if you press it it'll light up green a little map like if you press on this one it's like right there we're about to go on a little hike just on a trail Been here for days. I lost where everybody is. My camera's almost out of battery. If I don't make it out, I just gotta send one last message. I haven't seen civilization for days. I don't know where I, I am. Wait, hold on. No, they're leaving. They're leaving me. They're leaving me. They're going too far. No, please don't leave me. I don't actually want to get lost. After being in the wild forest of Colorado. Finally made it back to civilization. Oh my god. So much has changed in the last 10 minutes. I don't even recognize this world anymore. Like, that cloud wasn't there before. That cloud was a different shape. I don't think I ever noticed that rock over there. Was that rock always there? I don't know. But I'm back in civilization. I have made it out. That was the end of day two. Basically, for the first time, we went up into the rocky Colorado mountains. Or Colorado Rocky Mountains, whatever, whatever it's, it's known as. There is one thing that you missed though. We did stop at like a natural sulfur hot springs spot. Basically this place you go to, they have a bunch of small little pools filled with natural sulfur. The pools are like 105 degrees or you know higher. It smells absolutely disgusting. But you sit in these pools, and it's supposed to be good for your body. It's nice chilling in a bunch of hot water. Again, it smells gross, but it's supposed to be good for you. Uh, here's also a clip of, um, basically we stopped to stretch our legs and we stopped at this I don't know, we just stopped at this pretty cool place. We're about to start day three. Day three, we go back into the mountains, and uh, you, you'll see what we see. But uh, yeah, back into the Rocky Mountains, you know, nature and stuff. I mean, when you go to Colorado, what are you gonna go see, right? Get that, get that off my screen. The devil's lettuce. No, but <laughs> we're going back into the mountains, and uh, yeah, here's, here's day three. Wow. 
So, after this point, we're up in the mountains already, and it starts to get windy. It's really windy when you're up there. And so, when I'm recording and I'm talking, you can't really understand me or hear me because I don't have a mic for my camera. I should probably get one if I'm going to film more outside, which I will in the future. But, yeah, it, it gets really loud with the wind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put subtitles over the clips that you can't hear me at, and I'm probably going to do my own voiceover, probably, because I can't figure out my life right now, so just, just bear with me. So here I am, talking to my camera, making a joke, and I'm not realizing that without a proper microphone, my camera would not be able to pick up any of my audio clearly because of the wind and that if anybody was gonna watch this footage they would have thought that a tornado is taking out the whole state of Colorado behind me and basically this was just a failed attempt so let's just move on to the next clip So hours later we have made it to our destination and it turns out we are at a ski resort but it is summer so there's no snow or anything but you know it should be still fun it's really nice over here So something very interesting just happened. Uh, I'm up in the hills in Colorado, and uh, I just run into this family. Uh, they had like a baby with them, and he sees my camera, the husband, and he asked me to take pictures of them. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I take picture of them, and I find out that they're from, oh, they're also from New Jersey, which is kind of cool. I mean, they're from like New York area, but. The husband's from New Jersey as well, so wow, what a coincidence. Small world we live in, right? All right, so we're down from the hill, but I'm pretty sure we're like on the other side of the village. This village is actually pretty big, so from the top, and uh, it look what hold on, wait, I'm distracted. There we go. This is what I get distracted by when talking. Yeah, we got down from the mountain, go back to the village. We're gonna catch a bus, take it back. I think we're going back to our cars, I'm not sure. But this village is really big, actually. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Alright, so we're just waiting at a bus stop for the bus. It takes us to the other side of the village. And uh, I'm sitting behind a mural that looks like it was painted by children, but their drawing skills are maybe equivalent or better than my drawing skills. Check this out. Here we have a nice little man skiing. Um, 
Here we have some nice hills and stuff, things, some trees, look realistic, that's how trees are planted, yeah. Um, this, I don't know what this is, I don't know what that is, oh, there's a guy fishing back down there. Well, according to this, this is actually a mural depicting the history of this place, painted by children from nine to four years of age. And I mean, <coughs> well, and I mean, I think it's, I think it's really dope. It's really colorful, definitely. Nice to look at. Uh, but it was funny because uh, we asked the guy where the bus station was, and he was like, "Oh, just go down, just go down the street." And you will see a mural that looks like it was painted by children. I thought that was an insult to the mural, but no, this was actually painted by children. Guys, I have met Spider-Man. Hey, Parker, how are you doing? Hey, Parker. What's up? I'm back? Well, I'm not really back. This is going to be like the same video. Um, but... Today's a new day. Uh, me and my dad are going home today. We're going back. Colorado was nice and all, but it's time to go back home. Better catch our flight in a few hours. So, <clears throat> well, that should be fun. It was not fun. Our flight was delayed for two hours, and we ended up being at the airport for four hours. I'm not going to show you our trip back home. Yeah, I mean, you know what a plane looks like. You know what a road looks like. There you go. Um, this video is already getting kind of long, that's why. But uh, yeah, cue that outro. Alright, so basically, that was my trip to Colorado. Um, I don't know if it was the most exciting thing ever, but I mean, my first time being in Colorado, you know, they have the mountains to see, so seeing nature and stuff like that, pretty cool, right? Uh, the song is made by my good friend Cyril. Once again, he made my song for a previous video. He makes music. His SoundCloud link will be in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, see you next time.